Hey guys, my name is Jim of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Warhammer and Warhammer painting. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you how I tend to paint um, golden armour on the good old Stormcast. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this castigator here. We're going to paint all the all gold and all the gold trim, get it shaded and yeah, then we'll see the end result. Um, as per usual, if you like the video please hit the like button, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's just get on with it, I suppose. So, first off, I'm on current painting all these Stormcast that we're getting with Mortal Realms magazine and so on. I'm using Retributor Armor, which is as a base gold paint. Trying to get going, so we'll pop a layer of that on, just on all that armor detail, just all the way along tend not to be very very neat with this as well and it is already base coated with a coat of Mechanica Standard Grey as well. So now that gold paint is dry, as you can see, uh, it looks a little bit sloppy, but you can clean all these bits up when you're painting other parts like all that cloth and so on later on. Next up, we're gonna put a wash over the top of it, which we use Reichland Flesh Shade, which gives it a kind of a, a bit of an ambery kind of dark look behind it. Make sure you get it all over that armor as well which if you wanted you can always if you do it as a silver army you can use null no, no oil or anything like that in its place which get all into them recesses make all the colour look a bit darker and all that Just had time to dry. What I like to do now is get that retributor armor again, uh, and then just with a nice, decent-sized dry brush, like so. Just get, make sure you load up your paint, get it on the brush so it's ready, and just dry brush that whole golden armor again. As I say, don't worry too much if you look like you're making a bit of a mess of your model, you'll get it looking all right and neaten up all the edges and everything like that and a little later on when you're doing 
things like the cloth robes and stuff like that. And so on. Right then, now that that dry brushing has dried in, you can see how much of a shine it's kind of gained from just that, and kind of brightened it all back up again. You can, all you need to do now is, if you choose, is you can give it a highlight of just some Rune Fang steel, which will give it just that little bit of a, kind of a bit more of an edge and a kick, just lightly go over certain edges that you feel like deserve a bit of a highlight and kind of increase that look and so just go over bits of them and then that was probably a bit more heavy handed than I needed it to be which is my own fault Again, if you make any kind of little errors, you can always go back over these and kind of neaten it up. that's how I like to paint golden armor um, as I say I'm not the neatest painter to begin with but I know for a fact all them little gold splashes that I've managed to get over the robes and stuff like that I can clean them up later on uh, ultimately you should always paint how you feel you want to paint to get it done um, however makes you feel comfortable and what you how you enjoy painting it's down to you um, but that is just an example of how I like to paint um, in the near future there will be a painting on how I like to do these purple robes um, which the same idea can be based behind other colours as well so it's not too bad uh, once again if you've liked the video please hit the like button 
subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the near future. Bye bye now.